guys, it's me, Gary Lee Stanley, your sales guy. How are you doing today? <laughs> today, we're going to talk about our favorite subject, which is sales. All right. We got a cool topic for ourselves today, so let's go ahead and dive right on into it. What is our cool topic for today? Our cool topic for today is selling. Why is selling so tough, or is it? What? <laughs> it says, why is selling so tough? Or is it? Why is selling so tough? Or is it? See, I'm going to tell you the truth, guys. Selling is tough. That's the truth. The whole truth and nothing but the truth. If you don't know what you're doing. See, here's the thing, guys. You are fortunate enough that you are right now thinking about being a better salesperson. In your mind's eye, you're saying outside of the box thinking, what can I do to prepare myself to be a better salesperson or a salesperson or a great salesperson or can I? So why is selling so tough or is it? See, selling is tough when you don't have much knowledge about your product or maybe you're just first getting into sales and you have no idea about how to have a selling conversation. You have no idea about closes. You have no idea about closing techniques. So you're actually, if you're brand new, the perfect person to get into sales. Okay, the reason why is you haven't been brainwashed over over the years with a bunch of stuff that's not going to benefit you or could maybe damage you based on the information that you were given. See, on this platform, I'm going to tell you some things that a lot of salespeople don't talk about. We'll talk about the good, the bad, the ugly, and the warts and all, and things that, um, you know, are not hoorah all the time. Because I love selling, man. I like making money. But I got to talk about things that are real because this platform is for real salespersons, and I'm a real salesperson. I sell real estate. I sell insurance. I sell motors, heaters, pool services. <laughs> I try to sell as much as I possibly can, you know, and why is selling so tough? Because see, first off, it can be tough in between your own two ears and our own mind's eye. We are scared. It's fear. It's called false evidence appearing real fear. We're a fear of people saying no. We're a fear of people judging us. We're a fear that people might look down on us. We're fearful that maybe, you know, you'll say no and then, ah. It's all kinds of reasons. Fear, it false evidence appearing real. It can be very detrimental to a good salesperson if they don't have somebody say it's going to be all right. See, it is going to be all right, especially when you first get into sales. It's tough. You got to learn the basics of your 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 product. You want to know how to use the product. You want to know the benefits of the product for the customer, and then be able to relate that information back and forth to the customer. See, features and benefits, anybody can show features and benefits, talk about features and benefits, but see, do you know what the benefits are for the customers, how they can use it in their own lives, how it can improve their lives, how to make it better? Just saying, that's a question that you may wanna ask. Why is selling so tough? Because a lot of times we think that, oh, we're gonna be like, it's gonna be easy. <laughs> We're not con people. We don't take advantage of people. We're not beggars. We're salespeople. We have a great product. We have a, or a service. We have information that we can share with our customer. And then we can ask them, do you want to go ahead and go with that? But a lot of times you need a good lead source too, guys. A lead source, if you go door to door, you're going to talk to everybody. But if you specialize in a product like I do, like pools, I'm generally going to talk with people who have homes with pools. So if that's the case, if I have customers who who have primary or that I'm looking for that are only about pools, then basically it niches all, a lot of people that I can't talk to about that particular product. But see, here's the thing. What if you sell multiple products? I work for also for a pest control company. I work for Economy Pools and Pest Bear. So what I get to do is I get to talk to people about selling pest control. If they've already got a service for pool services, if they got a heater, I can help them replace it or I can update it. But I can also do WDOs and help people with, uh, with termite services, bonding. It's just really cool. But what the key is, is, you know, why is selling so tough? 
because sometimes we only got one product and it's like oh crap man and your lead source is drying up and you've told them six seven times you knocked on the doors and you're freaking out it can be tough so we have to look outside the box for ways to market ourselves. We need to let people know, you know, on our Instagram, on our Facebook, on our, our YouTube. We need to let all of our people know, hey, I'm in selling. These are the things that I do. Can I help you? Just saying. You know, and why is selling so tough or is it? It really isn't. Um, I didn't say it wasn't a lot of work. It's not like, you know, being an electrician, you got to run a lot of cable, you got to run a lot of wire, you got to bend a lot of pipe. It's not like a person who's running underground utilities, you're digging, using a shovel. It's not like that, but it can be psychological because, see, we work on this magic thing called uh, commission, which means if we don't sell something, we don't make no commission. But sometimes we're lucky we work with a company that will at least give you some seed money so you can get out there. It'll help pay for your little bit of gas and mileage and, and at least make you feel a little bit better than nothing. But that ain't how every company works. But we do want to take good care of our salespeople. So, you know, how, what, why is selling so tough? I think it's not really tough, but I think sometimes, like I said, it's that fear factor. We're afraid of you know, being looked down on or being judged. And nobody likes to hear no. We've been hearing no, 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 no our whole entire life. But see, here's the thing we forgot to think about. It may be not the time for the customer's time to buy. Or maybe that so that person's a jerk, you know, not every time. But maybe they can't buy right now, but they're afraid to tell the salesperson, they ain't got no money. Or maybe they have other things, they've got their money you know put and tied up with so our simple job is to try to pull down that you know that screen look on the other side and say okay so you owe this much money and start helping them learn about their budget because sometimes if you can help budget a customer you can also influence them to help them purchase your your whatever it's like you know for myself if you can fit something in their budget they're more inclined, and that's customers, and myself too. If you can fit something in my budget, I'm probably more inclined to purchase it. That's if I have a need or if I have a want. Because if I want something, you know, it don't matter. It don't matter if I don't need it. I want it. People are like that. And selling, you know, why is it so tough? Because a lot of times we don't put ourselves in a customer's position. And a lot of times we sell stuff we don't own. So if you don't own stuff that you sell and you have the capability of owning it, oh, shame on you. But if you don't have the, the, the wares and the means, you know, be honest with your customers. And remember, we're salespeople. You know, why is selling so tough? It's tough only because um, of lack of knowledge. There are a lot of great motivational speakers and people that I've been studying for years and years, and I'm always looking for new opportunities, information, and bits and pieces. Because, see, here's the thing. If you're green, you're growing. If you're ripe, or should I say if you're ripe, you're rotting, okay? And you don't want to be that person. So new information and education. We've got to continuously update our education. We've got to update our CRMs. If you got a system where you can upload and talk to people and lead sources, you got to upload and be up to, up to date. You need to learn how to use your phone. You need to learn how to be able to talk to people uh, over the phone, video sources, marketing. It's just a lot of great things. But so is it so tough? Um, yeah, <laughs> but when I first got into sales, I was a door-to-door -door salesman. They told me what I had to say. I told the people what I had to offer, and then I wrote it up, and I made money. So we could make it real complicated, but it really is not. If you want to be a salesperson, I've been in doing this since the 80s. I love it. The good, the bad, the ugly, and the warts and all. I ain't saying it's easy. It's really tough sometimes, but it's worth it. And I enjoy it. I make pretty good money. And I've been able to pay my home off, been able to raise a kid. He's 19 uh, by myself his whole life. God has opened doors for me. 
but I had to work my ass off. So don't think that if you become a salesperson, you're just going to sit there and you ain't got to do nothing. You got to pick up that heavy phone. You got to actually go knock on those doors. I'm still doing door to door. I got a great lead source, but I go knock on people's doors. And if people that are there that I'm are not there where I'm knocking, I'm looking to see if there's another way I can help other people in that same community. So today we're having a good conversation about why is selling so tough. It's only tough if you don't know things. So I've got literally hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of videos on YouTube, okay? On every subject there is to think about when it comes to selling. If you want to learn how to be a salesperson, take those bits and pieces of nuggets from each one of the videos and you will go, wow. My name is Gary Lee Stanley. I'm a real salesperson. You know, I've failed. I've had good days, bad days. I've had good days, bad days, and I've been successful. But my simple job today is say, it's going to be all right. We just got to keep trying. Keep working hard. Don't give up. You know, just have faith in yourself and pray, man. And if you want to be a successful salesperson, why is selling so tough? It's because sometimes people really don't give it a chance. Give it a chance. Work hard. No matter what company you work for, you're going to have to gleam some information from each opportunity. Not every company is going to last, but as a salesperson, once you learn how to be a great salesperson or a person who's willing to learn how to be a good salesperson, you're going to be awesome. I got you back. I'm proud of you. Just letting you're important and you know that you're important and you matter. Why is selling so tough or is it? Yeah, it's tough, but I love it so much. Get into it. Watch some of my videos, and then you can figure out it's selling for you. And then you can also figure out, well, what kind of sales can I be in? My videos will give you some basic information. Check it out at Gary Lee Stanley, your sales guy. And check me out on Instagram under your real estate sales guy. And I've got a really cool station. It's called Your Happy Realtor. Okay. <laughs> and do me a favor, guys. Go out there and check out some of my stuff. I really appreciate you. And why is selling so tough? Or is it selling's tough only because sometimes we're that we're afraid. I ain't gonna lie, that's the only big thing that keeps me from being successful. Is sometimes I still get scared. But see, when I go knock on the door, <sighs> I gotta change that face. Hi, my name is Gary Lee Stanley. I'm with Economy Pool today. Or I'm with, uh, I'm just saying, guys, be awesome today. And remember, you can do anything you put your mind to. My mama told me that a long time ago. But you have to work your ass off for it. And why is selling so tough? Because sometimes we're lazy. We don't want to work as hard as we really should. I'm just saying, I've been there, I've done that. And, but when you gotta pay your bills, boy, you'll start working your ass. Okay, especially when you work on this body thing called commission. Today is a wonderful day, so why don't you be my neighbor selling? Why is selling so tough? Or is it? Hmm. Okay. All right.